Hanging on. Meanwhile, Floyd Bannister gets a little retaliation. John Cangelosi hit earlier. Dave Collins, and yes, we have our first brawl of the young season. Collins actually gets the worst of it on both ends. Not only got hit by the pitch, got tangled up in a host of White Sox and got thrown out of the game. Nobody else really hurt in the game. Hander to throw a shutout since 1973. But look what happened to Willie Wilson. Tewksbury in too tight. Watch the catcher, Ron Hassey, try to stop Wilson. Wilson does some shoving, and now it really gets interesting. Off the chest protector, and Wilson throws a punch. Both benches empty. And a typical baseball fight. A lot of pushing, shoving, rolling around. Sean Dunstan, and he takes the pitch from Greg Barger and takes exception. Heading for the mound, momentarily stopped by the ump. Here we go again. Dunstan was ejected, but the damage had already been done as the Cubs won big. Watch it again. Watch it. Who... Boom! Boom! And there's uh, Jody. <laughs> Knowles and Jody on the back of the head. Joe West grabs Knowles, and Jody takes a beating from Knowles, but finally wrestles Galarraga to the ground. Let's see if we can see where Fitzgerald gets involved in this, because he's the only one left down at the end of the fight. <laughs> over a full season. Whoa! Oh! Hit by a pitch ball. Oh, and he, he's lying. Has a move. Now he... Oh, they're going out there. Here's Rick Sutcliffe hitting Chow. And players from both teams break out on the field. Meanwhile, Dawson was still down and not moving very much, but when he did finally shake out the cobwebs after about three minutes, Andre knew exactly what he wanted to do. He's on his feet. Now he's looking for Chow. He's looking for Chow. Where is... Whoa! Look at this. Look at Chow. They're trying to keep him away. He's retreating. He better retreat into the dugout. Look at Andre. Look at this. Andre's going out into the, into the dugout. Now, Gullickson's a little steamed, obviously. His first pitch to Andre Thomas, the next batter. A little too close to Andre's. He comes out. Gullickson charges Thomas. We've got ourselves a brawl. A little arm lock, a little arm bar. No power slams, though. Well, a couple of flying Walinda acts, though. And uh, Pete Rose holding on to Tom. Tracy Jones, the hitter here. Jim Acker plunks him. Now, Davis was on deck. You don't think that Acker would throw at the hitter with Davis coming up next and a man on. Andres Thomas, remember, was hit yesterday. Didn't look like anything would happen here. Then they exchanged Father's Day greetings right here. And after that, then the brawl began. The important thing in this inning, after loading the bases, the Reds did not add any more runs. But after the fighting was over here in the next inning. The third inning, men on third and second. Pat Tabler hits the grounder. Ray Quinones fields it. He looks, he's gonna throw home. They've got Rick Dempsey caught up in a rundown. Now eventually, Jim Presley tags him. Look at the arm wrap on him here. Well, Dempsey doesn't like it. Third base ump Larry Young tries to stop it. Dempsey gets the reversal and the two-point takedown here. All three of them go down. Nobody gets hurt, nobody. Throw here in his first outing out of the bullpen. There it is, that ball just backed up. And Mailer's reaction on the mound after Davis was hit indicates that he was not trying to hit him, but Davis is human. And Ozzie Virgil, who's a very strong man, is holding off another strong man, Glenn Davis. And you can see Ozzie trying to talk to him, and then Hal Lanier does a good job. And you see Lanier there saying to Ozzie, okay, we got him, we got him. Look out. Mm -mm. And again, now Dawson gestures trying to push Carter out of the way. So Andre Dawson hit by a pitch following a home run. And the inference is overwhelming, of course, especially if you're Dawson. That's Ron Darling who is restraining Bob Ojeda. The next batter, Hubie Brooks, you know what's going to happen. He just had a homer. He's coming in high in sight. Eddie hits Brooks, who did not deliberate a moment. Comes right at him, slaps at him there. They go, well, it's not a bad baseball fight. I'm sure the uh, president of the league will take a good, long, hard look. 
it was fight night. But that was round one because after both players were ejected, they had uh, harsh words in the runway that leads to, to the common clubhouse area back there at Three Rivers. A minor verbal skirmish and the ball game. Then Sunday afternoon, Candy Maldonado hits the ground ball to Ozzy Smith, who flips it to Jose Ocando covering second. Will Clark slides with spikes up, goes well beyond the bag. Ocando, Clark, and Smith exchange some unpleasantries. Akendo slaps Clark on the helmet. Now watch Maldonado bang. He gets Ozzy there. The brawl is on. The bench is empty. And punches fly quickly. The dust does finally settle. The next batter now, Mike Aldretti, is greeted by Scott Terry with a pitch at the head. Terry's ejected by home plate umpire Randy Marsh. And the battle begins again. Here they come. Out onto the field. The Giants came out there. And cards catcher Tony Pena is livid, has to be restrained. Pitch. But watch his reaction. Didn't look like he was trying to throw at him, but McGuire says, you know, enough is enough. And while McGuire didn't charge the mound, some others did. Carney Lansford in the middle of some pushing and some shoving. McGuire taken out of the game for precautionary measures. But you look at the replay, and it hits the flat. Wilson, who singled homer and bounced to the pitcher, and that one got him right on the head, and a warning is being issued by Bob Davidson. Lavin says, why? Didn't mean to do that. Mookie up on his feet. He's all right. He has a few words for Glavin as he heads out to the mound. And on a hot afternoon, Bob Davidson trying to keep tempers cool and not having much success. was at second. He didn't uh, go there idly. Brian Harper, the twins, thought Bouchelle was stealing signs. Perhaps that's why Jeff Kunkel knew what was coming, and he doubled. Bouchelle touched home and then touched off this argument. The bench is cleared. Bedlam broke loose. Whether he was stealing signs or not, he had to argue it from the opposing clubhouses. Perhaps a serious move towards the pitcher's mound after Oral Hershiser set the tempo by nailing him on the forearm. The one that got away, according to the pitcher, things did cool down. And later, things got rough in the field for Montreal to come back, scored seven times in the inning, so by the ninth, it was out of reach. So Pascual Perez on court went well out of the strike zone. Mike Sosa took definite exception. Look at Perez now, eludes Sosa, then a couple of other charging Dodgers while he retreats towards first, where Gibson makes a bull rush at the pitcher, only to be gang-tackled by and covered up by three expos. Third, bottom of the eighth, Tuffle gets plunked by Rob Dibble. And away we go. Dibble walks in, and Tuffle says, let's go. Fists go flying, the bench is empty. Probably the best baseball fight of the year, folks, uh, but it's not quite over. Here comes Dibble again, as Tuffle says something from across the diamond. When it was all over, four players were ejected. Dibble was gone, Tuffle was gone, Samuel was gone, and Norm Charles was the time to rumble in the eighth inning. Craig McMurtry gets Mike McFarlane. McMurtry says, well, excuse me. Here we go. The bench is clear, the dugout's clear. McMurtry gets a worm's eye view of life. Seven batters hit by baseballs in this game to tie an American League record. An added attraction, WrestleMania. Mark Knutson hits Luis Polonia. Little Louis says, I ain't gonna take that, you big donkey, and tries to kick his butt. Ah, yes, the great American pastime, baseball. Polonia, Knutson, and Mel Hall each ejected for fighting. But Hall Pirates down two run, runners on the corners. Pat Mears, contact. Kevin Young will be tagging from third on this short fly. Steve Finley going home. Mike DeFelice blocks the plate, and Young is out. Now, Young and DeFelice get tangled up. Now Young will flip over DeFelice right there. Now you can't do that. The punches will be thrown. The benches will be empty. Danny Batista and the Pirates coach go down. Kurt Schilling. Kurt Schilling, get out of there. You're going to get hurt. Then Schilling goes running back for more. DeFelice jawing at Young. Young would be thrown out as well as DeFelice. Oh, you want to know what happened in the game? Okay. 